Okay, let's get started. So I am using this uh, beautiful P13 Time to Relax base kit, and this is the photo that I'm using. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is looking through these papers, I think I'm going to fussy cut this out um, and put them on the back of either that one or I think this one. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start getting that done. Um, I'm going to start fussy cutting these out and probably only going to do like a few of them, maybe these two. Um, and then I'll meet you back here when they're all done. Okay, now that I'm done fussy cutting, I've got this stencil from my stash, and I'm going to use some of the Crafters Warehouse um, TCW Orchid Stencil Butter, and I'm just going to, um, it's going to, it's a little, I'm not taping it down because I want it to be a little messy, um, I'm just going to throw some of the Orchid Butter on this stencil kind of to make a pattern around the um, edges here. So, so this is a flower stencil. You can find different stencils in the um, Click Kit shop. This one I just had in my stash. Alright, so I'm gently going to remove it and Place it down here. Alright, so I'm intentionally making it a little messy. Um, Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to clean off my stencil and um, I'll meet you back here in just a few seconds. All right, friends, so it is dry, and I just wanted to give you a quick look at what it's gonna, what it looked like before I um, finish it up. So these are gonna go on here. Um, if you can, you can see that I'm covering these little blemish parts. I did purposely want to keep these here but covering that up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these on and then run my sewing machine through it so I'm going to go off camera to run my sewing machine through it but um, just getting the placements. I think I, I did kind of want to keep that, but I think I kind of like that there, so you can see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, and then I'm going to go off camera to run my sewing machine through it, just to give it some more texture. And I'll meet you back here once the sewing machine is part of the sewing is complete. All right, friends, I am back and sorry, I am just trimming this off here. So I sewed them down. I sewed, sewed the patches down with my sewing machine and now I'm just trimming off the extra thread here and I'm going to use some washi tape from my stash just to tack the thread down so it doesn't come up. You can um, do a reverse stitch and lock it in place but 
I never do that. So I'm just now washi taping down the thread. And then I'm going to finish this up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just ever so slightly pull these up so they're kind of, it's kind of distressed there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pop dots from my stash and get my photo down. So now I'm going to figure out how I'm going to embellish it. So this does not come in the kit, but these are available in the shop. And um, what I want to do it's kind of tie in the purple, the, the darker purple. So I'm going to use this purple ribbon and I've got, I'm going to, you'll see, let me get organized here. All right, so I'm going to grab an X-Acto knife and I want to put a bow in here, so I'm just going to very carefully Now I've got a slit here, you can see, to tie my bow. Alright, so I'm going to use this purple. There's not enough purple in scrapbooking, so this is a really nice kit to have. Um, I'm using a neutral photo here because I did not have a purple photo and I really felt that this photo went well with the theme. Alright, so the washi tape is getting in the way here. Basically what you want to do is thread in the slit here. Where is the slit? You want to thread your ribbon through it, okay? If if you have a problem like that. I could take out I could take out my tweezers and use those to pull it through, which I might actually do. There we go. Makes it easier. And I think I just actually, yeah. See what I did? I broke my hole. Alright. So this is twisted, so I want to untwist this. Because I want the velvet to be on top. And I did it for that side. going to tie it in a knot. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just going to move my photo over to cover up where I accidentally broke the page. Just very carefully pick it up, move it over. There we go. Alright, so now to finish up the layout. Right now I'm just looking for embellishments that I want to put on and I think I'm going to use some of these chipboard stickers. tiny attacher just to add a little bit more texture here by stapling down that heart and I'm almost done I just want to put these little heart shapes around no heart shapes what am I saying star shapes. So these are basically going to, whoop, that slid off. Ugh. Actually, I want to put one more up here to balance that one down there. And I think there was another heart. Nah, we'll just leave the one heart. Alright, so to put these down, I am going to use some tacky glue and I'm just going to glue them down. I'm just going to hold it up off camera for a minute. Yeah, I like that. And the last thing to do is just to sign and date it. And there you go. Thank you for thank you for watching with me friends. Bye-bye.